hey guys, how's it going? So he's doing so much better. Everything's working out great. He's full of life, full of energy, knows that it's God who saved him and just is just so full of joy. Um, he was uh, in an accident some time ago and um, that time around, he uh, had broke a lot of bones in his arms and his legs, he has metal plates in his legs. And he said that last time, like another buddy of mine that told me a story that was, uh, uh, he was homeless, said that he came home and his family was completely gone. His wife was completely gone, took all the kids. There was not one item left in his house. He said he went to the corner and put his head against the wall and just died that day. And he's been homeless uh, ever since. Um, and it's the same thing that happened with, with, with Ashvin. He got into an accident, broke all the bones in his arms and his legs, surgeries, almost died and was in a wheelchair uh, and didn't have absolutely nobody by his side. Um, nobody, nobody, nobody. And so he just gave up on life. And for the past couple months, I've been mentoring him and, and just teaching him about God. And he's been loving going to church. He's serving in churches, multiple churches. I would say he's at like four or five different churches that he goes to and serves as well. Uh, and just doing an amazing job. So I'm going to just leave this video right here. And uh, we're going to go and show more about Andy. Real name Ashvin. <laughs> he likes to be called Andy. And just how God is moving in his life. And how God can move in the people's lives around you as well. With just unconditional love. We know of the word unconditional. We know its meanings. Um, and a lot of times we think we know the words of unconditional love and we think we are fully applying them, but it's not without pressing in your Bibles. It's not without going to a good church. It's not without, uh, uh, uh um, doing everything, going to a church that teaches the whole Bible and believes on living it out fully, uh, uh, for the rest of their lives. It's not until you do things like this where you just love God and you don't care about anything else. Paul said that um, John the Baptist that was preparing the way for Jesus, he said that everything else is dead. I don't care about anything else but Jesus. And he was a mighty, mighty man that was used by God. So I know you guys want to be used by God. I know you guys want to have your families mended because of God and whole and beautiful. I know you guys want your circumstances to work. I know you guys want your relationships to work. But you have to apply biblical principles to your relationships. Everything under the sun does not matter except for God. And when you put God first, that he's the only thing that matters. Everything under the sun becomes so beautiful. And so robust. And then you're able to love your enemies. And then you're able to love those who persecute you. And then you're able to love those who do you wrong. And with that consistent love. That foundation with the Lord. Allows them to find Christ. And he restores all. Because the Bible says that he will restore. Everything that the locusts have eaten. Everything that the devil has taken from you. Everything that. That maybe you might have messed up or destroyed or feel like you messed up too much of your life or you can't really show your face in public because you might have done some very, very bad, bad things. And I come to give you good news that when you put your all in the Lord and you put your all in serving him and doing everything the Bible says to do and not to do, he answers your prayers just like he answered this prayer. So 
day two and he's completely awake miracle so God showing his mighty mighty ways so you believe it too because it's for you father God right now in the name of Jesus I pray for anybody that is going through anything right now God that you comfort them Lord that you bring your holy presence on them right now Jesus that you save them Lord and that you you keep them from despair Father God and lean on your word Lord I pray that you comfort their minds I pray that you comfort their hearts right now Father God you comfort their souls Lord that you show them Father that your way is the best way and nobody can come in between that Father I pray that they trust you in all of their circumstances I pray that they trust you no matter what is going on in their lives, Father God. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord, heal them right now, Father God. Touch them right now, Father God. Bring them peace right now, Father God, in whatever they're going through, Lord. Let them know that with your love, Lord, all things will work out, Father. Let them know, Lord, that they are greater than what they have been. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, we give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. We trust you, Lord. We give you our all. We give you our lives. We give you our mind, Lord. May our hearts be pleasing to you, Father. And may our thoughts be as pure as honey, Father. And fine, fine, fine gold, Lord. That in all we do, we serve you. And in all we do, we live for you. And in all that comes our way, Lord, we handle it according to your word, Lord. Because your word will not deceive us, Lord. And your word will not set us astray. But place us on a foundation that no man can shake. No man can break and a security and a love, a whole love that is everlasting. In Jesus' mighty name, pave our way, Father. Pave our way. We love you, Lord. We love you. We will honor you and serve. Jesus mighty name. Amen. Amen. And amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. can do it. He loves you. He's been waiting for you. And if he's in your heart already, he's been waiting to take you even deeper. Allow him. Allow him to. Allow him to come into your life. Surrender your life completely to him. And tell him you want to walk the ways that he walked and walked behind him. Ask him into your life right now. Ask him into your circumstances. Ask him into your, your situation and see 
how he makes everything better and nothing else will matter. Nobody will be able to come and destroy you. Nobody will be able to come and get in your minds. Nobody will be able to come and come against you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. God loves you and he has a plan for you, a plan to prosper you and a plan not to fail you. A plan to give you everlasting life that when you have this, you are so grateful and you just want to share it with everybody. But it's full surrender so you may keep it. It's full living according to the word of God, the Holy Bible, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shalom, <laughs> the real Jehovah Shalom, the Prince of Peace, completely turning from your ways and living for him and serving him fully, wholeheartedly. And you will see that things are actually not that bad. They're actually not bad at all. It's just your perception. Because his word, his words, Jesus, is just not fully fully, fully in your life and you walking as he wants you to walk and you knowing what he wanted you to know the whole time. I love you guys. I believe in you guys. Give your all to him. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus mighty name. I'll keep you updated with Andy and in the next video you'll be able to see more and see how he's really doing. We thank you Father for healing Ashpen Lord. We thank you for putting your hands on his life. We thank you for changing his life Lord. And we thank you for putting the right people in his life. Like Brian at Christ Church, and Tim, everyone from Bloomingdale Church, um, Matthew, um, Roger, Regal, John, Dave. Tim, Phil, for making sure that everything goes according and always there to help us. And the other four or five plus churches that I can't think of right now. We thank you, Lord. And you guys know who you are. And I thank you for constantly coming and serving and cooking as well and doing your part with the homeless. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.